Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video of me reacting to Scandinavia. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, what I do on this channel is I react to all things Norway, Sweden and Denmark. I love learning about these countries and the people that live there and it has been such a fun journey so far and I'm going to keep on reacting to all these videos and find out as much as I can about these three great countries. As you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be reacting to what Norwegian eat for breakfast which I think is super important to know because if I spend lots of time in Norway I'm going to be waking up wanting breakfast and I really love breakfast so I'm intrigued and interested to know what typical Norwegians eat for breakfast so are you ready for it let's go <music> Today we are asking the people of Trondheim, Norway about breakfast. Vad spiste du till frukost idag? Jag spiste frukostblandning. Spiste inte frukost. Jag spiste inte frukost. Nej. Det var lite dåligt. Idag så spiste jag hamburgret till frukost. Okay, so the first few things, cereal, oatmeal, and not eating breakfast, I thought was completely normal. I'm a cereal eater. Um, I eat cereal for breakfast. Uh, but I've just seen this one that says blood ro uh, bread roll with liver pate. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like pate. Uh, I like bread. But would I have it in the morning? I have never considered it, so I'm not sure. Is this a typical Norwegian breakfast? A bread roll with a liver pate? Let me know in the comment section below. Lavebostei. I dag så spiste jeg et rundstykke med lavebostei. Og gomorjoghurt. Jeg spiste et speilegg og et rundstykke med skinkost. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. It was an egg. And it was cheese roll, fine. I, you know, that doesn't sound too abnormal for me. It doesn't sound too unique. Um, but the liver pate, I'm interested to know why. If you know, like, why is this a common breakfast? Please just let me know. It's best frukost blanding, oh, yeah, with milk. Egg, spiced egg. Um, so eggs are quite common, not just here in the UK, but obviously in Norway too. Not quite sure what polar bread is. I'm assuming it looks like some kind of bread, some kind of biscuit thing. Obviously, please uh, explain to me in the comment section below what polar bread is, because uh, I'm curious about it. And I want to know if it's a typical breakfast bread or if it's something that you can eat any time of the day. Um, I'd love to know. That kind of sounds like a very continental European breakfast for me. Like if I go on holiday to Europe and the breakfast, go to the breakfast, it's going to be bread, it's going to be eggs, it's going to be slices of cheese, slices of meat, eggs, coffee, orange juice, that kind of thing. So... Yeah, I mean, on vacation, that's the kind of breakfast that I would be having uh, for sure. At home, I'm usually a cereal guy. What would you say is a typical or traditional Norsk frokost? I would say bread. Bread with a lot of salt. So it could be meat, 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 egg, if you want to slow it a little bit. Havregrøt også, kanskje, så mellom brødmat og salt pålegg og havregrøt. Og gjerne et glass melk til frokosten. Mye melk. Brødskiv. En typisk norsk frokost er vel fort da brødskiv eller havregrøt. It's really interesting that everyone is saying that a typical Norwegian breakfast is like a slice of bread or a couple of slices of bread. Obviously you probably have something with it, but yeah, it's just interesting. Do you just have bread or do you toast it is it like cooked bread or is it simply just a slice of bread um because it's so interesting to me 
that that's what people typically have. Um, yeah, I don't know. For me, it's a brush with brunost. I har not have a but I think it's either frokost or a brush with a brunost. I have a brunost with a brunost. I don't really know what... Uh, this could make me sound silly, but I don't really know what brown cheese is. Like, I don't know if it's that's something that we really have here that much in the UK. Maybe I'm confusing it. Maybe it's brown cheese, but it's known here as something else. I'm not sure. Um, here, obviously, probably the most common type of cheese, everyday cheese, is cheddar cheese. That's kind of very popular, but also we do other types of cheese as well. Not quite sure what brown cheese is. So, um, yeah, let me know if you know. <laughs> Det är ju för min del är ju bröd och ägg och vanlig pålägg. Det är väl egentligen bara brödskiva med enten kvittost eller något sånt pålägg. Ja, det är knäpper och geitost och mjölk och kaffe. Kanske kokt ägg eller jag påstår kanske något normalt. Kanske ja, något gott pålägg på i det lägg. Hvordan er den norske kulturen når det angår frokost? Den norske frokosten er kanskje mer en sånn praktisk løsning. Nordmenn er opptatt av at man er nødt til å spise bra på starten av dagen for å ha energi frem til lunsj. Så det er mye mindre fokus på lunsj enn på frokosten. Så det er også... Man... That's quite interesting because here in the UK I feel like people typically concentrate more on lunch than breakfast. Obviously, I have breakfast and lunch, but um, I think, yeah, typically people, especially like during the week, everything like that, people who go to work early will oftentimes skip breakfast and have like a bigger lunch or a snack in the morning, mid morning and then a bigger lunch. Um, I definitely think here it's if you have time for breakfast, you have breakfast. Obviously, if you're a child and you're going to school, your parent is obviously going to make you have breakfast, which is quite normal. But as an adult, I think it's typically if you have time for breakfast, you'll have breakfast. If you don't, you'll skip it and just pick up something when you get the chance and then have a, a good lunch. So yeah, it's interesting here that she's saying that people care more about breakfast than lunch. Which may be a good thing. I don't know. Lär dig helt från under små att grovt bröd och grov mat är viktig för att för att energin ska hålla sig. Men man brukar inte så lång tid på att spisa frukost. Det är inte så många mål många måltider som man brukar god tid till att till att spisa. Så eh, en halvtimmes tid på frukosten vill jag se si som vanlig. Vardagen är inte så socialt. Nei. Yeah, I mean, definitely there's a difference between breakfast on the weekend and breakfast during the week. Obviously, like I said, during the week, it's very much if you've got time to grab something at home, you just quickly eat some cereal or you, you eat something and then you're out the door. Um, but on the weekend, you either spend more time at home making something like egg or toast or bacon or you go out with friends and it's more of a social thing for sure. Kanskje <laughs> Det kan si alla har så väldigt god tid om morgonen för det må få på jobb. Det kan någon ta sig god tid att lägga en fin frukost yeah, exactly. och spisa det de vill, men ja, jag vet inte. Jag har väldigt många kompisar som inte äter frukost, bara för att på jobb och så väntar att se lunchen på jobben och sånt. Så så jag vet inte. Det det Yeah, so very similar like I said to what happens here in the UK. It's uh, exactly what he's describing. Yeah, man, I'm going to go to the airport. 
kan jo være alt dette som nå i ferien, så har det jo vært veldig sosialt når det er travelt å skal på jobb og sånn, så må jo som regel gå fort, så da er det jo ikke så... Det er noe vel... Jeg vet ikke helt, det er noe vel bare å få ned maten kjapt, så skal vi komme seg videre. Det er ikke noe særlig kultur å spise fri oppe, så vil jeg si en ting. Når vi har ferie og fri, så prøver man å bruke god tid. Men ellers så er jo ofte frokosten en sånn venstre hånd, skal jeg det siste du gjør om morgenen før du drar spinner av gården på jobben. Frokost er noe kanskje viktig høytid til løpet av dagen, for familie å samle flokken, som kalles, ja. Og ete i lag og drøfte noen ord av hverandre, da. Og blandlegge eventuelt videre på dagen, da. Så vi tenker at det er viktig for familie og sosialt sett, egentlig. Hvor kommer du og dialekta di fra? Ok, guys, so we're at the end of that video. That was me reacting to what Norwegians typically eat for breakfast. A lot of the answers weren't that surprising. A lot of egg, a lot of meat, a lot of bread, which isn't really typically what we eat so much here unless it's a week weekend and we're putting more time into it. Um, so I wasn't that surprised, but I was surprised about the people that said liver pate on bread for breakfast. So crazy to me. Like we only typically eat pate here as a starter to a main meal when we go out for dinner at restaurants or whatever. We certainly wouldn't have it for breakfast, at least as far as I'm aware. Um, but yeah, let me know why that's such a thing. Is that really a typically Norwegian breakfast across Norway or is it a certain part of Norway? I'm interested to know. Let me know in the comments uh, below what you guys eat for breakfast. I'm curious to know all of your thoughts about this and what you guys eat. Do you think breakfast is an important part of the day? Do you put a lot of effort into it? Or is it something that you grab quickly before you go off to work? Uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. That would be great. If you loved this video, then please give it a like. Please comment anything you want in the comment section below. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos of me reacting to all things Scandinavia. And until next time, guys, stay safe and I'll see you soon.